Hi Aquarius, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your general reading for July 2022. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell twice. This way you know when I go live. And I typically go live on Sunday evenings for the All Zodiac Weekly Read. So if that's something that you're interested in, just go ahead and smash that bell. And a warm welcome back to my regular subscribers. Thank you so much for all your patience. Yes, I've been on a hiatus for quite some time, but my travels are done and I'm back at it, all right? So we're gonna start here, guys, with the Oracle cards and then we're gonna see what your challenge is using the Double Major Arcana cards for the month. Uh, then we're gonna get into the Tarot spread, which is the beginning, middle, and the end. I never say end of the month anymore, because time's fluid. We're all on different timelines here. So what is going to happen here is that you're going to have to use your own intuition, all right? So take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force the story to fit. If it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you, and that is okay, all right? I do plenty of other readings. Like I said, check out the other Zodiac weekly readings, but also if you want something more private and personable, you can go in the description box below and you will see that my books are officially back open, Aquarius. So if that's something that interests you, go check out HarmoniaFriends.com and you'll also say information on my membership area where you can get access to, un and it's unlimited access, to all of my extended readings. And I do all extended readings on love, love and relationship, but also my timeless TLC readings that I upload Monday through Friday, all right, they are timeless for all Zodiac readings. So there's plenty of messages in there. And again, it's using your intuition, but there's a lot over there, plus some other stuff and discounts on services and so forth. All right, Aquarius, let's get started. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? What is going on for Aquarius spirit? What is going on for Aquarius? A splendid torch blaze brightly. Ooh, some action needed here. Fire energy I'm feeling for you, okay? So this has to do with taking actions. And I feel like you are lighting the way. It's almost like I almost feel this energy of some of you becoming the way shower this month, showing the way. Something's lighting you up, but let's see what your challenge is this month. What is uh, Aquarius's challenge, Spirit? What is their challenge this month? All right, you guys are focused on, <laughs> yes, saving. Saving here. Look at this. We got the King of Pentacles, but notice how he's got his pentacle and he's kind of putting it away. All right. You're working on your reserves here. I feel like I'm talking to an Aquarius. Uh, maybe have Earth in your chart or could be dealing with an Earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is about um, not just penny pinching, but saving. All right. Working on your savings, working on your stability here. What brings you growth? All right. Maybe some of you have been saving up for something significantly some of you it's about saving up for continuing your education or saving up for um a i don't know a new venture i'm hearing for some of you but others of you it's about getting over a loss and trying to work on your stability i'm hearing Ooh, some of you may be doing it in a creative way all right interesting let's see what else with the tarot cards have to say here i don't know I almost feel this energy just looking at this king that looking a little bit unsure. <sighs> hiding, almost like hiding. Maybe you've been keeping a nest egg to yourself. I don't know. Here we go. We have the king of swords energy. You're bossing up for sure. The knight of wands, that's what we're talking about here. The three of wands, more fire energy. And we have the four of swords reversed. Rest and rejuvenation is over for you guys. You're going to be busy. Yeah. We have the lovers reversed here with the ten of swords. Okay, that's a loss that we were. I was feeling into. The higher font reversed. Taurus energy here with the ace of wands. There's more action towards the Ten of Pentacles reversed with the Knight of Cups. You definitely have a new opportunity here. We have the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess. You got some partnership going on here. What is this partnership about? We got a matching suit here. Air, Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You got a brand spanking new beginning. It's going to take some work. Are you ready to dive into this? Are you ready, Aquarius, to dive into this? 
<laughs> oh my goodness. All right. All right. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what this is about. There's that boss energy here with the king of swords. All right. So I feel like you're in your head, but you've been through a massive loss of some sort here. It could have been an ending of a partnership here. It could have been with a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be love. But this is letting go of something that you were not really being able. It, you know, you're still recovering from this. So I feel like this is more in the past energy, but you're recovering from a loss. A loss of a partnership. Having a new beginning. Okay? But you are determined determined I hear like really determined to fight your way through and it's like you don't want to wait anymore with the three of wands which is usually like waiting for your ships to come in waiting for stuff to come in you've had some time to think about this heartbreak okay you've had some time to recover from this loss now it's like shit I really got to work on this okay and I feel like it's some kind of financial loss or instability here or maybe you had to move but whatever it is it's you taking the actions here okay the time for rest and rejuvenation is over you've had plenty of time some of you this has been a year all right but now you know you see the truth here and the truth here is that <clears throat> even though this partnership didn't work out you learned a lot of lessons from this, okay? And it was an absolutely ticking time bomb betrayal, okay? But you felt like you had no say in the relationship. You felt like you put all your heart into the relationship. You felt like that no matter what it was, that it's time to speak up, time to take actions. But it's not to speak up to this individual because I feel like the person is out. It's now to boss up. It's now taking all of those lessons learned and doing something a little bit unconventional here with that Taurus energy here, the higher font, okay? This is the way shower, okay? When it's reversed, this is saying that you aren't going to be doing something that is the same. And look at this, time is now on you, all right? It is your time to shine. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm hearing, Aquarius. It is your time to shine, all right? Now, many of you, this shining opportunity is because you're so focused and driven to get back on your feet. Now, for those of you who are looking for love, who've been out of this, all right, for some time, because you have been so focused on your stability, because you have so been focused on obtaining the Ten of Pentacles again, guess what? There's an opportunity here to grow with another. You may have even met someone while you were working, but if not, this is really just saying there is an equal give and take on a partnership here too, especially if you had lost an opportunity or a partnership in work related, all right? There is an offer coming towards you and this offer is a match. It is an absolute match here, okay? Now we got the queen of swords. This is someone who talks the talk. This is someone here who's also been wounded at some point but this is also a boss. Why do I feel here, Aquarius? You got the power couple. This is someone you can grow with. This is someone not only you can love, but you can also work with, okay? So you could have a combination of both here right now, all right? But here's what's interesting. The high priestess is here. This is using your intuition. This is trusting the situation here, okay? Now, there is an act here that I feel that even though this offer is coming here, you're going to have to trust your intuition because some of you may be on the fence, I'm hearing, on the fence to take the opportunity to work with this person, to collaborate with this individual because of the hardships, because of the loss, because you don't want to be taken advantage again, okay? Kind of like, oh God, if I really want to get into this again, there's that, you know what it is? It's reluctance. It's reluctance here, okay? Now, if this isn't love and this is a partnership here, this is someone who sees you taking the actions, sees how you are shining, sees how you, valuable you are, and there's this energy, I feel, of collaboration. Let's see what it's about, though. Let's see what these outcome cards are about for you. I don't do reversals on the in-between cards. Here we go. We got six of cups. Now, this is someone who is a soulmate. 
This is someone here that you may have known from your past, okay? But if not, this is someone that you feel like this energy of like, man, I felt like I've known them all my life. Well, you know, this is the things of past lives, maybe having another life with them in, in another area here, okay? But there's something here, we got the higher font again, about a commitment and a contract coming in place, all right? This is divine. This is someone, and I feel like, I feel like you're both way showers, okay? Maybe you both counsel Aquarius. Maybe you are both light workers, I'm hearing. But it's something about utilizing what you've been through as lessons. And it's like, hey, I understand you. You vibe with this individual. You completely vibe with this individual. So this is a really strong partnership, Aquarius. This is a divine partnership. It's going to bring a lot of happiness your way. Yep, it is. It is Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with the fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But here's the thing. This Queen of Wands, um, you know, because it's it's masculine and feminine energy, even though it's the Queen, I'm saying she. But we all, we all have it. This is someone who likes to build. This is someone who takes actions and can see things a certain way. So if you are struggling of how... It's like they compliment you, okay? Maybe you're the person who's more of the... Um, the public speaker, you know, who gets out there where this person looks and plans everything, okay? There's something here where this individual compliments you and takes those actions very seriously because they can look. They can look at everything that is persevering here. Ooh, the wheel. Look what this coming here. The wheel. Are you kidding me? What was barren at one point means you're going to have a massive blow up here, with this equal give and take, justice is also in this card. Communication is also in this card. This is a not only a unique partnership, but this is also showing you this pathway is to realign you. This pathway is to reap your rewards. Man, if you don't have this yet and you're working toward this and you're like, you know what? I've just been working on myself claim this anyway because this is the energy of like having something that's really going to come in divine timing okay now the wheel to me is about seasons too so this is it feels to me that you've either been if you are still new on this or you're going through a breakup allow some time to come in here because i feel like it's a year a year i keep hearing all right let's see what the final message is for you what's the final affirmation for aquarius what do they need to know about this new beginning they're going to be diving into that they've been saving for listen whatever you've been saving or working on now that you're taking actions this is going to double this is going to double your income in a huge way yeah integrity and you got it you got the integrity here right i align with the center of myself a glowing core of personal integrity from this core is the knowledge that I never have to compromise. I never have to compromise who I am or what I want for anybody. And I feel that's the thing. You had to compromise so much in this partnership before that you probably stayed in way too long, okay? If it was a dead-end job, a dead-end relationship, it was something where you could not grow. I can live a life that doesn't include settling unless I want to settle, in which case settling would be my idea of perfection and would cease to be considered settling. Ugh, paradoxes hurt. I love these cards and it's home sweet home. I feel like you're finally finding your place. I feel like you are going to be settling with someone or settling in a partnership here that is gonna be an equal take, but this is about being a way shower for both parties in this, okay? This is an absolutely huge, huge blow up for you Aquarius so kudos to you if you are in this in this plane but like I said if not quite yet claim it manifest it all right all right that's what I got for you guys like I said if you want to join me over at my membership area just go to the description box below where you'll find my information on my website otherwise we will part ways you can also join me in my free private group it is a private group on Facebook it's just search Harmonia Friends search Harmonia Friends there are other light and shadow workers out there that I collaborate with who do daily messages on there. And it's just a really cool and fun soul tribe if you're looking for that additional support. You guys take care.